All right, Joe. I've been reshooting this thing for like a million times. Um, and we're going to go with this. Whatever thoughts come out or whatever thoughts come out. Um, I know that everyone wants to have a successful YouTube channel. I know that everyone wants to create content that's different. And that brings everyone to the channel. Also, mainly to be a utility. Now, a utility, you know, we think of it as something kind of like a necessity. Like we think of water, we think of lights, or we think of the news. All of those, in a sense, are utilities because we utilize them in a way that's beneficial or not beneficial to our daily lives. Um, for what it is, a lot of YouTube, 80% of it is fluff. Stuff that the YouTube censors forget about because it generates a lot of ad revenue. So that corner space is just as bad as the front space. But a lot of people want to be toy reviewers. A lot of people want to do the news. And it works. And, you know, some people cheat. Some people lie. Some people steal. Some people get in the algorithm. Some people just create good content. But when the main focus of a channel for collectors is bringing a formidable and sensible uh, utilities such as news and reviews that are honest, you know. When that doesn't work, you know, sometimes we have to pivot. And it has always been a growing popular view of none other than the dissenting view. Where no matter how you slice it, no matter what positivity comes out, it's always the same thing. When the purpose of your channel is to be a utility and you can't sell the goods or show a potential of the selling of the goods, we resort to negativity because the buzzwords of negativity will bring people to watch that video. Now, I can't go against it. Like I said before, it's not even if I have a problem with it or if I don't have a problem with it because of the simple fact that you're able to do this. It is your channel to do whatever you want. And if you're watching this video, I put this disclaimer in. And if you make any crazy comments thinking I'm coming after your channel, hey, you know, take it for what it is. I did not. But if you felt I did and you come with some nonsense, I'm not going to answer your question. I'm going to delete you and delete you in any way that I can. This is not an attack on anyone's channel. I did not call any channels out by name. And for the record, again, this is not an attack on anyone's channel. I did not call out any channels by name. So therefore, if I didn't call your name, Please don't come to my channel talking about your channel if I didn't call out your name or your channel. Because I'm going to look at you like you're crazy and I'm going to delete your comment and you're probably going to be at war with me. But the truth of the matter is, I've been watching a lot of channels and I've already unsubbed to a lot of channels. It's a simple fact that I am not going to the channel to listen to the same thing going on in life. If your channel says reviews, toys, transformers, and you got pictures of toys, transformers. I don't want to come to your channel listening to the stuff that's happening in the world every day. Like, as a man, I already know what's happening in the world every day. As a man, I make it my job so that I'm not having to worry about those things that are happening every day. And when you go to these channels, you know, if you have a dissenting view, then, you know, you get attacked by other people who have the same dissenting view. And it's unhealthy, by the way. And we'll get to that when I sum it up. But then, you know, you got to hear about this person. I got this, I got that, I got this, and I got that. Well, I'm from the hood. What you eat does not make me shit. So whatever you have, I don't give a fuck. If I think your shit sucks, then your fucking shit sucks, okay? And to have to hear every day, oh, it's this and it's that. That's not what a grown man should do. A grown man sees a problem, he solves it. That's what my dad told me. That's what people in the hood tell me. You ultimately solve any problem that you have that comes in front of you. Because that's what a man is supposed to do. That's what a woman wants for a man. I don't care. Whatever else besides most me, what a woman wants is just to feel good. But that's another story for another day. And I'm not even going to go down that road because that's the same thing I'm talking about. Like Transformers, G.I. Joes and all this stuff like that. I don't really, I, I mean, I can understand you getting upset and talking about how the prices are high. Okay, I get that. 
And even that, after a while, it gets on my nerves because it's like, well, why are we still talking about it? You only got two choices. Either you're going to buy the toy or you're not going to buy the toy. Why do we have to have a 30 minute video of negativity? And then you got a whole bunch of other people ringing in the negativity. And then at the end of the video, there's no resolution, no anything except the same negativity and everybody just goes away. And then if you say something like, hey, man, sometimes, man, it's not always that. And then a lot of times you do and you're going to have a bunch of people try to hawk on you, which, hey, I can handle myself. But it feels like when you don't know enough about the fandom to the point where you should, then you just resort to that. So your videos aren't about toys. Your videos are about just life and then everybody else just complains along with you. And then you get a bunch of views and then everybody just wants to see you talk about nothing. And when a bunch of grown men want to see another another grown man talk about nothing, those ain't men. Because I promise you, I got problems, a list of them. Tax debts, past debts, looming divorce, all that stuff. Single dad, you name it. But you ain't gonna hear me talk about it like that. It's, it's very like, okay, yeah, I got the situation, but hey, we still moving, we still going on. Because I don't want to bring that woe is me crap. Hey, I got a situation, but I can get past the situation by going through it. That's what we should foster. So every day, it only has to be talked about in passing, but not as a forefront or vocal focal point of the channel. And a lot of channels' focal points foster nothing. There's nothing about toys or reviews anymore. It's just, I want to talk negatively. And then the other channels are talking negatively now that they're seeing that these channels are getting reviews. So now we got a really bunch of bunch of numb nuts just talking about nothing and then get mad when you say something. Because when they do a view, review or a news a video, it looks like shit. And it doesn't get a lot of views because their channel is no longer utility. It's just a wee wee wah wah bitty party. And I'm sorry, that ain't manly. Because I'm going to tell you one thing, no matter how hard it gets, you're going to have to make money. And if you ain't making enough money, well, you better get your ass out there and make more money. But if you're crying about it and you a man and you letting that wall hit you, you're not a man. You ain't got no vision. And I'm not going to be fucking with you. So, yeah, I unsubscribe to a lot of channels like that. But you don't have to subscribe to mine. You can get mad, complain all you want to. But I promise you, I'll delete your comment and you won't be able to comment anymore. Just stop it, man. Talk about the toys, man. All right, head out.